Hey guys, this is Tamala, and I want to welcome you back again to another exciting episode of Designing with Hope on Design. Now, whenever I get ready to go shopping for home decor items for my home or with the client, there are seven questions that I always ask before I make a purchase. So if you would like to know those seven design questions, then please keep watching this episode. The first question to ask, and that is, do you love it? I always ask myself or my client this question because it is important to only purchase what you love. If you purchase something because you only like it, nine times out of 10, it is going to end up not being used or end up in your donation box headed towards your local thrift store. My client absolutely loved these accent chairs for her formal sitting area, so we went ahead and made the purchase because we knew that they would be used and my client absolutely loved them. The second question to ask yourself is do you have the perfect spot or will it fit in the space? If you do not, then simply don't buy it. If you do not know immediately where the item is going to go in your home, then leave it for someone else who does. Point in case. I found this king size headboard in a neighborhood alley. It was covered and in great condition with the free sign attached to it. My intentions were to use it as a headboard in my bedroom, but the headboard was too small. So now it just sits in my foyer space waiting to head to my local thrift store for a donation. And my third question to ask, and that is, will it tie in perfectly with my existing decor? This showroom at the Dallas Trade Center has an eclectic modern design style. When you are purchasing new home accents, always make sure that it will tie in with your existing decor. You don't want to purchase a new piece just to have it stick out like a sore thumb in your existing decor. And my fourth question is to ask, can I afford it? My mantra is, if you can't afford to purchase it then, then you simply can't afford it. But now, don't get me wrong, there is absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to have expensive home decor items in your home. It's just a much wiser choice to budget and save up for those expensive purchases. These ottomans are $679.99 each. I would love to see them sitting at the foot of my bed, but saving up for them makes it much easier on my pocketbook and they just may go on sale later on. And moving right along to my fifth question and that is to ask yourself, will I still be in love with this item in the next five years? Our design style and taste changes as we get older. So before you purchase an item, make sure it is something that you're going to continue to love for the next five years. Now ask yourself this question, would you love to see these chairs in your home for the next five years? And now my sixth question is, what special care will it require? Now, if it's gonna cost more money to keep the upkeep and to take care of the item, then I would suggest that you rethink your purchase and re-ask yourself questions one through five. Now, as with these dining chairs by Bernhardt, my client was fully aware of the cost of cleaning the expensive velvet burnout fabric and its upkeep, but it was worth the cost to my client just to have these beautiful dining room chairs. And my seventh and last question, and that is, can I get it cheaper somewhere else? Now, who doesn't want a deal? At least I know that I do once in a while. So shop around at different stores or on the internet. You just may find it at a lower price or it just may be on clearance. So now that you know my seven questions to ask before you purchase new home decorative items, hopefully it will help you to shop with confidence and then you'll have less things to return back to the stores. So now once again, thanks for watching Designing with Hope on Design, designing for the home, body, and soul. Bye for now.